The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Job. Is not human life on earth just conscript service? Do we not live a hireling's life? Like a slave sighing for the shade, or a hireling with no thought but for his wages. I have months of futility assigned to me, nights of suffering to be my lot. Lying in bed, I wonder, when will it be day? No sooner up than, when will evening come? And crazy thoughts obsess me till twilight falls. Swifter than a weaver's shuttle, my days have passed and vanished, leaving no hope behind. Remember that my life is but a breath, and that my eyes will never again see joy. And our response from Psalm 147. Alleluia. Praise Yahweh. It is good to sing psalms to our God. How pleasant to praise Him. Yahweh, builder of Jerusalem, He gathers together the exiles of Israel, healing the brokenhearted and binding up their wounds. He counts out the number of the stars and gives each one of them a name. Our Lord is great, all-powerful, His wisdom beyond all telling. Yahweh sustains the poor and humbles the wicked to the ground. And our second reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. In fact, preaching the gospel gives me nothing to boast of, for I am under compulsion, and I should be in trouble if I failed to do it. If I did it on my own initiative, I would deserve a reward. But if I do it under compulsion, I'm simply accepting a task entrusted to me. What reward do I have then? That in my preaching, I offer the gospel free of charge to avoid using the rights which the gospel allows me. So though I was not a slave to any human being, I put myself in slavery to all people to win as many as I could. To the weak, I made myself weak to win the weak. I accommodated myself to people in all kinds of different situations so that by all possible means I might bring some to salvation. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, that I may share his benefits with others. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. And at once on leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed and feverish, and at once they told him about her. He went into her, took her by the hand and helped her up, and the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were sick with diseases of one kind or another. He also drove out many devils but he would not allow them to speak because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him, and when they found him, they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere to the neighboring country towns so that I can proclaim the message there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out devils. The Gospel of the Lord.